Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday in the fourth week of Advent. We are gathered together for morning prayer. And today we are, are remembering Catherine von Bora, who is married or was married. She's no longer with us. She was married to Martin Luther. So uh, before we get started, as always, if you have prayer concerns, please share them with us in the comment box and we will include them if you are live on Facebook after uh, the prayer attributed to St. Francis. If you're watching later, we will please again share your concerns, your intercessions, thanksgivings, and we will include them in our next office tonight at 5 p.m. for evening prayer. Now, Catherine von Bora was born in the late 15th century. Um, not much is known about her early life other than she was sent to the convent um, as was a common practice in those days. She became a nun at the earliest possibility. Uh, around that time, she learned you know, many skills of gardening and beer making, which will come in handy later in her life. Um, at that, around that same time, Martin Luther was uh, having some issues with the Catholic Church in his 95 theses and got himself into a, a little bit of trouble with the Catholic faith. But word about him spread and eventually made, uh, made way to their convent. And Kat, uh, Katerina and several of her companion nuns were interested in learning more about him. Uh, Katerina wrote to him and they wanted to leave the convent, um, which was illegal. So a friend of his who delivered made regular deliveries um, of herring smuggled either nine or 12 nuns out of the convent and brought them to in fish barrels. In fish barrels, herring, um, pickled herring. Uh, I think they went to Wittenberg and um, Martin Luther felt it responsible. Uh, some, of the, some of the nuns went back to their families, but not all the families wanted to take them back because again, this was illegal and it's expensive to keep a daughter in the house. So Martin Luther went about getting them married. Katerina um, refused the first two suggestions and said, I'm either going to marry this guy or Martin Luther. And Martin Luther at the time um, was espousing uh, that clergy should be married, uh, didn't think it was right for him. Ultimately, he said uh, he would be a role model, if you will. And they had a very happy union. He, he uh, was quite enamored and fell in love with her. She ran his household, leaving him free to uh, continue his- uh, like, a, like a Marine gunnery sergeant. Yes. So the, 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 the land and the brew, brew, brewer, she brewed, she brewed beer. Uh, they took in students. Uh, so there was always people around and mouths to feed and she ran that household quite well. And that freed him up to be out and proclaiming uh, his message of uh, reformation. Um, so she she uh, she yes. didn't just she didn't just operate a brewery. She operated a brewery, a creamery, a farm, and also marketed and managed all of those aspects of the business, plus managing the household. It was called the Black Cloister, actually, and uh, eventually it became Luther House. Uh, it was owned by the university, but it was maintained by the Luther family, and she was really, truly the, the backbone, if you will, of the Reformation effort. She referred to her, uh, her husband as Pastor Doctor or Professor Doctor, um, affectionately, they say. Uh, when Martin Luther died, sadly, she did not have an easy time of it. Uh, she could not inherit his property, and most of what they had was, if you will, borrowed. So she actually wound up having to move around quite a bit in that region. She was ultimately supported by the elector of that uh, and the nobility of that community with a small pension, but it wasn't quite enough to support her and her family. On top of that, 
this was a time of intense warfare. So um, the Black Cloister was actually sacked and invaded several times, and she had to flee in the face of invading armies and incursions of varying warring parties as the battles of the Reformation raged back and forth, dying at the age of 53 after having uh, fought, having fallen into a, uh, an icy, an icy uh, road ditch uh, one of the times when she was a refugee. But she did die in comfort, and her children were actually able to recover some of the expenses of the Black Cloister, and the estate was actually able to support them. But truly, she was a formidable woman of the Reformation. We remember her today. So behind it, a great man. She's a great woman. Yes. And uh, that reminded me one one more bit before we get started. She was also a great, uh, she wasn't really a doctor, but she knew much about herbs. And Martin Luther was not in great health. And she took uh, fabulous care of him and his many ailments. Her son, Paul, I believe, who did go on to be a doctor, said that she was half a doctor. So add that to her list of accomplishments and uh, and skills. Wonderful, remarkable woman. So now we have morning prayer. Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the light and the desert a highway for our God. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for the antiphon and invitatory. Our King and Savior draweth nigh. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Our King and Savior draweth nigh. O come, let us adore him. Our Psalms this morning are 66 and 67. I will read the odd verses. Please respond with the even. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name to give him glorious praise. Say to God, Say to how, God awesome how awesome are your, are your deeds. deeds. Because, because of your great, great power, power your, your enemies, enemies cringe before, before you. All the, earth, all the earth worships you. They sing praises to you. Sing praises to your name. Come and, Come see, and see what, what God, God has done. done. He is awesome in his, in his deeds among mortals. 
He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There we rejoiced in him. Who rules by his might by his forever. forever. Whose eyes whose keep eyes watch, keep on, watch nations, on the nations. But the rebellious, but the rebellious not, not exalt themselves. themselves. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. Who has kept us among the living and has not and has let, not our, let feet our feet slip. slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the, into net. the net. You laid you burdens, laid burdens on, on our backs. Back. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you have brought us out to a spacious place. I will I come, come into, your, into house your house with burnt offerings. offerings. I will pay, I will you, pay my you my vows. My vows. Those, Those that my lips, that my lips uttered, uttered my mouth and my promised, mouth promised when, when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of <coughs> bulls and goats. Come and hear, Come hear all you, all you fear, fear God, and I will tell what he has done for, done for me. I cried aloud to him. And he was extolled with my tongue. If I had cherished, I had cherished iniquity, iniquity in my, in my heart, heart, the Lord would not, have, would listened. not have listened. <clears throat> truly, God has listened. He has given heed to the words of my prayer. Blessed be God, because the Lord has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. May God be gracious to us and bless us. <clears throat> And make his face to shine upon us. That our way may be known be upon known earth, on earth. Your saving, saving power among all, among nations. all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations, Let the nations be, glad be glad and sing, sing for, joy. for joy. For you judge the, you peoples, judge the peoples with equity. equity and, and guide the nations, the nations upon, upon earth. earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth, the earth has, has yielded, yielded its increase. increase. God, our God, God, our God has, has blessed, blessed us. May God continue to bless us. Let all the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling will be glorious. On that day, the Lord will extend her hand yet a second time to recover the remnant that is left of her people, from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Ethiopia, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, and from the coastlands of the sea. God will raise a signal for the nations and will assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of Ephraim shall depart. The hostility of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah and Judah shall not be hostile towards Ephraim, but they shall swoop down on the backs of the Philistines in the west. Together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall put forth their hand against Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites shall obey them. And the Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt and will wave her hand over the river with her scorching wind and will split it into seven channels and make a way to cross on foot. So there shall be a highway from Assyria for the remnant that is left of her people as there was from Israel, for Israel, when they came up from the land of Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning, the third song of Isaiah, together. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open, 
By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Revelation of John. Then I saw a great white throne and the one who sat on it. The earth and the heaven fled from his presence and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne and books were opened. Also another book was opened, the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works as recorded in the books. And the sea gave up the dead that were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them and all were judged according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this, for the words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, the murderers, the fornicators, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, a song of the spirit, together. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and bringing my reward with me to give to everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, says the spirit and the bride. Come, let each hearer reply. Come forward, you who are thirsty. Let those who desire to take the water of life as a gift. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them them up forever. forever. Day by day we magnify thee. And And we we worship worship thy name name ever, ever world without without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have have mercy mercy upon us. us. Have mercy mercy upon us. us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us. As our trust trust is in thee. thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never 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 be confounded. confounded. Almighty God, who called your servant Katharina von Bora from a cloister to work for the reform of your church, Grant that for the sake of your glory and the welfare of your church, we may go wherever you should call and serve however you should will. Through Jesus Christ, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. O Lord, our heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast brought us safely to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger but that we, being ordered by thy governance, may do always what is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who hast made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and did send thy blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near, grant that people everywhere may seek after thee and find thee. Bring the nations into thy fold, pour out thy spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for the repose of the soul of Keith Gabbett, and we mark his passing. And we pray for his family and for his friends who mourn his death. And I'd like to pray for the repose of the soul of Mary Ann Williams and her family also. Amen. I'd like to lift up in prayer this morning all those who are cold and hungry and feeling lost and alone, all those who carry all of their possessions in a shopping bag or a cart. Watch over them, Lord. Help them find a safe harbor, protect them as they wander the streets, and see that the rest of us notice them and that we reach out our hand to help them as well. Amen. I ask your prayers for those who are grieving, for those who are struggling with health concerns, anxiety, spiritual, mental crises, they may find peace and comfort and healing. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Okiosum, the Church of Nigeria. In the Diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for the Reverends Susan R. Carney, Robert E. Sullivan, Sharon L. Sutton. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me for the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. 
We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee, and holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Well, that concludes morning prayer and gets us onto our day of work and witness and service in the name of Jesus. And uh, so much going on in St. Peter's. Check out our website, St. Peter's. Uh, stpeterspotswit.org and see all the happenings uh, and we will gather again today at five o'clock for evening prayer like us on facebook follow us on facebook like do us the follows and likes it, it, i don't know what to do i've already i've already done it you do it too <laughs> follow us follow us on facebook subscribe like and give us a thumbs up on youtube and join us throughout the holiday season for all the things that are happening reminder that next uh that this coming week we have uh, morning prayer tomorrow we have the blue christmas service starting at 5 30 in the church yard as we light luminary six o'clock for our blue christmas service of remembrance on christmas eve we'll be gathered at 5 p.m for the christmas celebrations beginning and we'll also continue those on christmas day at 10 a.m and we also mark the feast of the holy name on the first of january which is uh, one of the great celebrations of the church that we don't often get a chance to lift up. We will be on hiatus next week for the Christmas holiday, but we'll return on January 3rd after that. So we'll just keep you posted. Yes. Morning and evening prayer on Thursday. Morning and evening prayer on Thursday. Wouldn't miss that for the world. So yes, do join us. I think that's everything. Take I think care. So. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Bye.